What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Total Warhammer. We have issues. We have problems. You know, it could be worse. It could be better, but it could be worse. Uh, we're fighting uphill. As usual, it's given the AI the dominant position on the battlefield, which I've noticed it does pretty frequently, actually. It's happened enough to where people in chat when I was Twitch streaming the game were like, how come the AI always starts on a hill? And I'm like, I don't know, because they like starting on hills, I guess. I. It is an advantageous position. I would start on the hill if I had the option to do so. Boar boys take up the flank right there. I'll kind of weave you guys out further if I have to. We've got our throwers over here, which will hopefully be able to hit something as the enemy comes at us. We've also got another little grip of melee units along this side. Our army could pull this one out, but we're going to have to be very, very careful in the way that we use our cavalry. They don't have us, like, completely defeated just yet, but... We do have problems. It could definitely be a lot better. Where are you guys setting up? Here, set up over here. Because they're reinforcing from way the hell back there anyways. So we should have more than enough time to deal with these assholes before... They're probably going to set up... To do some kind of flanky thing. We also have no visibility, which is funsies. There we go. Now we've got the visibility. Now we've got visibility, which is essentially the opposite of invisibility. Like, if you're invisible, people can't see you. If you have the power of visibility, it means, like, no matter what, you could be behind, like, smoke screens and shit, and you still glow through. You're, like, made out of LEDs. Made out of LEDs. So what are we up against here? We're up against a lot. I would like for my boar boys to set up a little wide, actually, if we could do that. And everybody else just keep moving forward. You guys move forward to there as well. I couldn't grab them. They're on two separate. This is a separate army right here. With our rock lavas, we should be able to cause some kind of problem. I didn't see what they had going on as far as siege weaponry goes. They've got a lot of siege weaponry, so we're going to need to resolve that. We are going to need to fix that sooner rather than later, and if we don't, we will deeply, deeply regret it. They will more than likely... I should have gone to the left with the boar boys, I think. I think I made a bad choice. And they are set up just outside of my range. Luckily, most of what they have is just rudimentary, like, super cheap dwarvish units. So everybody with a pickaxe is basically like a level 1 orc peon unit. Like, they aren't... Well, I mean, they're the orcs that get peed on. That's why they're called peons, is because... If you have pee-soaking needs, there they are. You guys go out that way. I would prefer... Ugh. All right, how about this? Everybody get into melee. I haven't moved a lot of you around yet. So I will take you three. No, not you. There we go. Why are you being included? Stop that. There we go. You three come over to, like, here. And double time it, and we'll see if we can pinch one off on the side of their... See if we can pinch one off on the side of their flanks. You guys just start firing arrows at whatever looks like an attractive target. Whatever makes you happiest, shoot arrows at that. You guys start getting some of those fusiliers in the back. And we're going to come about and try to take out all of their support units. This is a pretty melee heavy army. We are going to have problems here. We are going to struggle. We're probably going to lose along several fronts. And in fact, it may be wiser just to fight along in here and then kind of mess with these flanks and protect them. I'm not actually super confident that they can do a whole lot to stop us from doing so. I could go after their siege equipment. Absolutely. That's something that I could totally do. Our warriors are already fleeing along that front, which is not good. Where's my lord at? Get him in there. Ready? 
Bring them back around this way. If they end up fighting with somebody, so be it. But basically, I need this flank protected for now. You guys start helping right there. You guys help over here. Yeah, I was a little bit worried about that. It looks like our entire flank on that side is pretty much folded up. Which was not unexpected, but still. I would have preferred that it happened a little bit later rather than right now. Yep, keep fighting. Just battle your way through. Do what you got to do on that side. You guys, now would be the time. They have fled. So there ain't really a whole lot more to accomplish right there. You guys need to weave around and be on that flank like yesterday. Our lord is absolutely under attack and probably getting his ass kicked. So you guys start helping out over here. Wipe out what you can along this flank. And then come back around on them. Oh, shit. I think our lord just got beaten. Yep, that's going to be a problem. That is absolutely going to be an issue. However, their morale is pretty tanked on this side, too. Look, I'm not saying it's 100% impossible that we pull this out. But what I am saying is right now we kind of have to hope for the best. There we go. What I need from you, Gitz, is to stop getting hit by fire. Oh, man, did my lord actually make it off the field? Where is he at? Oh, it's a complete and total route. Shit. We had that, too. If we could have lasted, like, another 10 minutes, we I'm sorry, another couple minutes, we had it. Because they were folding right there in the middle field. That was a really... It says close defeat. It means close defeat on that one. Like, we almost had him. We were really, really close. Let's have a look at our butcher's bill here. Now, is my lord officially dead over there? Because he didn't retreat after he took that fight. He actually looks like he might be dead. Ugh. Yeah, Scraga Beardburner's dead. That's not good. It seems like it gives the AI so many more chances to save their lord. Like, how come Thorgrim Grudgebearer didn't die when I defeated him, but the first time he fights one of my dudes, my dude dies, you know? This doesn't seem fair or right that he gets to keep coming back ad nauseum over and over and over again. He's in pretty decent shape, too. Definitely less than satisfactory. On the plus side, we're going to make some money, so that's good. And we can raise another army. It shouldn't be too hard to do. Let's have a look here. We can bring in a shaman, a war boss. Easily distracted. Okay, military heritage. Let's go with Snide Hornhead. And we'll start raising up an army for him. I'm going to have him get a cavalry army rocking. And we're out of cash right there. We'll solve our rebellion issues up here. And once they've been fixed, we'll start worrying about the problems on our eastern border. Because he'll gas out eventually, I think. Sneak Backslider. Which one is Sneak Backslider? Oh, 
Oh, apparently he leveled up, I guess. I mean, I don't really know why I'm maintaining an army up here, because it doesn't look like they actually want my territory. So it might be better just to pull all these guys and disband them. And then once that's done, we'll respawn them down here so that we can fight the dwarves. And we'll worry about the northern front later, because I don't think they're that interested in actually pressing into our territory. Like, they were messing with Zufbar, but I think that's because, heritage-wise, Zufbar is like theirs. And they want it. They desire it. Where did that army come from? Alright, well, one thing at a time, I guess. This is going to be a chaotic period for us. And here... Why is my guy not jumping in on this? Yeah, you set up right there so that we both jump in on it at the end of the turn. And that should be fine. Apparently this rebellion has gotten quite large. We have a wog with us right now, but it's going to be tough for us to tough for us to recover. I need to take him out to Black Crag too and get him some recruiting time. Just a little bit of it. And then from there we've got the big guys. I'd like for this army to be fairly stacked if we can do it. There we go. Now we've got him taken. Let's go ahead and handle this rebellion, get rid of those that are not chosen by Gork and Mork, and prove who the real boss is. We've got the Lichbone Pennant, which I need to put on somebody. Just put it on... I don't know. Make them magically resistant, I guess. Doesn't matter none to me. Into battle we go. This battle should be rudimentary enough, I think. Where are my troops at? There, there. It started me off on a weird side of the battlefield. I don't know what happened right there. And then it looks like we're reinforcing from that opposite side. Oh, is this AI controlled? I guess it's AI controlled. But we're starting off with like an ambush stance, so that's pretty sweet. I guess they can kick it off however they see fit. As soon as my guys decide to join the field, we'll start worrying about what we want to do with them. Looks like they are running a decent amount of cavalry. Formations. Uh, probably put you in right there. You guys I'll have over here. And that leaves us with... What now? Let's get a vanguard of spears out front. Is that everybody? We have everybody selected now? Except for them, obviously. I thought I put you guys over here. The battle might be over before we even get over there. I just gotta get into formations first, though. Oh my god, could this take longer? You guys are killing me right now. Alright. Charge the field. Let's make this happen. Put in right there. It looks like we're winning already, I guess. I don't know. Didn't he have boar riders? What happened to his boar riders? Where did they go? He just got spider riders now. Okay, I gotta take him back up to the top and get him some cavalry then. If he doesn't get cavalry, it's gonna be ugly. Spider riders get all up inside her little, I don't know, gobble guys. There it is. I didn't know what those were for a second. I'm like, what are these? Is these something I need to worry about? They should be worried about me because we are riding on giant spiders. 
That's terrifying. That's like the orcs thought of a way to just terrify me. It's pretty awful in all reality. They should be routed really, really soon. And then we'll push through to the other side. Our catapults are still dicking around and doing jack shit nothing, so we'll put them over there. You guys set up along that side. Yeah, it looks like he already took the field. The joys of traveling with a wog that has, like, ridiculous XP. We may have some trouble with these guys right here. The secret to these guys is actually to hold your ground. And when you hold your ground, they won't be able to skirmish with you, so they'll have to stand and they'll have to fight you. Uh, because they can't outrange you. It tends to work out pretty well for your team. Where are my spider riders, since apparently they're the only ones actually getting some today? Wow, they routed that enemy army with a quickness. They said hell no. Not just no, but hell no. Alright, I guess we're just gonna have a victory before I even get on the field. That's cool, I didn't want to participate anyways. Shit was boring to me, bro. I... <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we got the Banner of Eternal Flame. That's pretty cool. I don't know precisely what that does, but I kind of want it. And then we can either slaughter our captives, or we can do something unorky. I will probably say to... Just take the leadership bonus, I guess. He's going to get run out of the zone, and then apparently he's going to get chased back even further by our wog. And then wiped out. That's perfectly fine. Whatever. We need to go deal with this army down here. Essentially, I need to get armies into position. We're kind of scattered and all over the place right now, and that's not a good thing for us. That's actually pretty troublesome. Oh, there's another army over here, too. The Gold Teef. Okay, a Gold Tooth or whatever. We can have Grimgore Ironhide, which helps out. He's still building up on this side. He's taking some pain by comparison to us. I wish I knew how far he could move because we have a showdown on our hands right now. Where we absolutely need to fight with him. We can do some recruitment. Three turns to get myself some boar riders, huh? That's going to take entirely too long and I just don't have time for it. Why is that taking so long? Oh, because somebody else is recruiting. That's why. I had to get it into my head why that was working the way that it was working. Although Snide Hornhead is looking good. We get him into some conflicts over here or send him east to start messing with some of their minor provinces to get his fightiness up. We should be able to maintain something over there, do a little bit of raiding. I've got, I need lords like all over the place right now is my biggest issue. So once he's done, we'll send him down south to fight with this army and then to watch this area. Then we'll raise another army to fight elsewhere. But for now, we're kind of stuck. Azig's leveled up, which is great. Let's go with Foe Seeker this time around. Decent little ability that we can proc, or that we can trigger right before he goes into combat. My Wog should move over here with me at the beginning of everything, just to safeguard my ass, which is dangling in the wind at the moment. I don't think we could actually fight the King right this second. If he wants to fight with us, he can. I don't think he will, though. He'll probably go into, yeah, he'll go into March mode, and he'll try to get past us. Oh, Teef Snatches is them. Okay. I thought that they were the gold tooth. Can you feel it? From the north it comes. The tendrils of chaos spread south, tainting the lands. And with it, the warriors of chaos march. We must ready ourselves, for war is coming. But who has brought the warring tribes together? What manner of champion holds that power? The Triclops. Oblivion has come, my lord. Archeon, the ever-chosen lord of the end times, has re-entered the world. With him marches a chaos host numberless in size. Prepare yourself for the coming apocalypse. 
The old world despairs for Archaon, the ever-chosen champion of chaos, has come and with him the end times. Once a Templar priest of Sigmar, Archaon uncovered a terrible secret which drove him to reject his faith and pledge himself to the gods of chaos. In their service, he has devoted himself to the world's destruction, defeating all challenges and rising to a position of dominance over all the chaos wastes, achieving the ultimate accolade, his dark coronation as the ever-chosen, the vessel through which the dark gods unite their followers to turn the world into a realm of chaos. It is to this banner that the warriors of chaos have been flocking, and it is to his malign will or it is his malign will that now drives them forth in a terrible wave of destruction destined to sweep all before it. The earth groans beneath the iron-shod feet of Archaon's numberless horde, and with him comes only death. Is there any champion of the old world mighty enough to withstand the lord of the end times? The answer to that question is yes. Argor Muckraker is back, so that's good. We will improve our omens because we have plenty of money right now. Basically, the moon is out, and that makes us butt hurt for some reason. I should really consider running this guy down right now, and if I don't, I'm going to regret it in the future. He's raiding in my territory, which is lame. Nah, what are you going to do? He has recruitment that he can accomplish. Got our boar boys, we got our biggins, we've got a little bit more room for some error boys, so we'll take them. And then a couple of squads and normal boys should be perfectly fine. And then once he's all nice and taken care of, we will get him on the underground paths and we'll send him down south to start fighting with this guy and kind of he's going to guard this area. Basically, we're going to take an army and we're going to guard each area as best we can. Took back Stone Mine, which is unfortunate. Inside of Barak Var. We probably want to start getting some banners ready so that we can recruit from these areas and kind of get back into combat where we left off. I will probably destroy that so we can put something else in on that side. Got a chance to make some more cash right there. And we're in the thick of it right now. We are definitely in the thick of it. I probably could have set the Wog as his target, or him as the Wog's target, and they would have attacked, but... Oh, uh, well... Such is life, I suppose. We are going to be chasing this douche all over the place until we manage to, like, solve all of our issues. They say you revel in victory. They say you spend more time erecting monuments to battles past than managing the realm. They say you were a fool. Well, if you can't construct e if you can't construct erections after you win a bunch of battles, what's the point? We are going to take war fervor right now. Cuz we needs it. I don't know how he's outpacing me like that. That's hella crazy how he's outpacing me. Have we gotten our agent back yet? Or is he, like, permanently dead? He should not be permanently dead. He should be coming back soon. I think it's been a couple of turns since we've seen him last. This army will be done very, very shortly. And then we'll send him west to Wog in the enemy's territory. Basically, we'll send him out to Bitterstone. Handle that shiz. Probably have him raid in their territory for a couple of turns, though, just to get his fightiness up a tiny bit. We have new research. The Arachnorox Spider. The deepest web layers of the Arachnorox now lured by battle. We can also get spider worship going on and a spider hatchery. You can go with the Doom Diver Catapults as well, which is actually a pretty good unit. It's better than the normal rock lavas that we have. And so we might want to get rid of the rock lavas and swap those out. So how do I get myself a, uh, a badass spider? How does that happen? Probably got like a spider web or something around here. Ah, there it is. And let me guess, I don't have one of those, right? Hmm.
Make the garrison a little larger, I guess. More Dosh. I'm going to set him as a wog target since I can't seem to run him down. Maybe he's got better movement than I do. But we're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for Total Warhammer. I will see you all in the next episode. It's been a lot of fun so far, and I'm looking forward to having a lot more fun with all of you in the future. Later, everybody.